Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dining with Drew. It's Italian night today and it's also pie day. So, woo! Woo! <laughs> we have a very special guest today. We have Chef Hannah. Hannah, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Hannah. <laughs> Anything else? I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, today <laughs> is March 14th, 3 slash 3.14, which is the beginning yes. of pie. So. Um, we're making pizza pies tonight. One big, or two, two pizzas today. I am um, an engineer, so pie day is very special to me. Very special, yes. <laughs> um, so we're going to make some pizza, and then later, to finish off Italian night, we're going to do some wine tasting. Um, so, yeah, stay <laughs> watch the whole video and stay tuned for that. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started right now with the pizza. So the first thing we do is cover the ingredients. So, Hannah, what are our ingredients today? We need two cups of flour, that, we need some olive oil, we're going to use garlic salt to add a little spice to our dough, yeast, active yeast, and warm water, which we need to warm up. <laughs> Not cold water. <laughs> Don't use cold water. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the ingredients for the dough. We're going to be making the dough first because it takes um, a couple hours. You got to let it, you got to let it rest, and we need the we need to rest too. So yeah. every time. Time. <laughs> time. There we go. That's about two cups right there. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the mixing bowl. There we go. Big bowl of flour. <laughs> Um, and then we have salt. Um, we're going to use garlic salt, but you can use any kind of salt that you want. We want about one and a half teaspoons of that. Um, you can also add regular salt and then add like garlic powder um, or sea salt, you know, whatever you want. So we're going to do some of this. Why don't we screw this? That's probably a better idea. Better. <laughs> <laughs> and we want one and a half teaspoons of sea salt or um, garlic, garlic salt. salt, whatever kind of salt. We're using sea salt. I mean, <laughs> garlic <laughs> salt. Okay. It's salt with pizzazz. Now we need some instant yeast. We have some uh, active dry yeast. That's what we want. And we're going to need some scissors to uh, I got cut you. this. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> a little, little pack there. We'll save the other ones. And we just need about um, one teaspoon. So we got our yeast and our flour in here, and we're going to add the rest of the, oh, and the salt we have in there. So that's all the dry ingredients now, so we're just going to mix that up a little bit. Um, and then we're going to add some water. We need three quarters of a cup of warm water. Um, so we're just going to put this in the microwave real quick. <laughs> A little bit longer. <laughs> you know, it's nice being back in this big kitchen. It's my apartment kitchen at West Lafayette is really small, so it's nice to have an actual kitchen. Okay, I got some warm water. We're gonna add it in there to make the yeast all happy. A little bit of olive oil. A little too. bit of olive oil, a couple teaspoons. You're doing great, Hannah. Thanks. <laughs> All right. right, well, you, you already got your hands in it, so I'll let you do the others here. <laughs> Get a nice close up <laughs> shot of this. Oh, look at that dough. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to like pay attention to what it feels like, and if you think it needs more flour, you can always add more flour, but we're going to make some nice, a nice dough ball, and then we're going to knead it for a bit. You want it to be kind of sticky. So we're going to add a little bit more water, and hopefully that, that helps. And if it's, but you can always just add more flour when you need to. Um, yeah, okay, well that looks a lot better. Oh, that's <laughs> real, real gooey now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's oh so... I don't know if I like 
with this noise. <laughs> uh, I think I need a little bit of flour. Got that nice but that's okay. We can, we can put the flour in when we put it on the board. Oh, okay. Ew. Not a fan of this texture at the moment. I'll probably make like an ASMR video of this thing. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's like a big like, stress ball kind of. Yeah, um, sure. Oh, so, uh, I need a little Okay, now it's okay. getting nice that and sticky. Looks like pizza yes, now. Yes, we like this. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. All right, we got a nice little <laughs> dough ball. We're going to take this nice cutting board or any, any other flat surface you have, and we're going to dust it with some little bit more flour, nice and. Nice and nice sprinkling of flour, and then knead that out on there for about 10 minutes is how long we're going to do it. Uh, so Hannah's going to do it until she gets tired, and then I'll take over. It's okay, I'm a triathlete. It's going to take a yeah. while. Big athlete. round shape and then Hannah's gonna take a little bit of olive oil and just grease the outside of the bowl a little bit. You don't want your dough to stick to your bowl so you nope. have to do this step. There we go we're just gonna drop this right on the... <laughs> My hand is slippery. <laughs> <laughs> nice slippery bowl. There we go right in the middle. Uh, so we're just gonna take this and then we're gonna Take some plastic wrap. Hey, no, I gotta um, get the olive oil off my hands and then I got this. Yeah, clean hands, take some plastic wrap and then we'll just take it and secure it over okay. with a rubber band. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wash my hands. I don't even think you need Yeah, that one totally stuck, so we're just gonna leave it just like that and we will uh, let it rise for. Two, three hours, we'll see. And Whenever we'll... it doubles in size, that's yeah. how you know when it's like ready to go. <laughs> okay, we're back. And our dough is big now. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and open this up now. And, uh,. I took a nice nap and um... I took a nice nap too. <laughs> I told you. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> big, big ball of dough now. <laughs> fun, fun. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and drop that right on the... Drop that sucker down. Ooh. Ooh, it's like all light and soft. Ooh. I'm just going to like throw that down on the... <laughs> Point. I'm going to cut it in half. So this is going to make two 10 inch pizzas. Two dough pieces. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we'll and now just... my bigger pizza are going to do. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do, we'll just take one and we'll just put that right into our pan. And then we're gonna take both hands here. Let's see. We're gonna take both hands and we're just gonna like nicely like spread it, spread it out a little bit around the pan. Gotta make a circle. Gotta make, gotta make a circle. For pie. Yes. Because it's pie day. Those square pizzas <laughs> on pie day. No. Not too bad. <laughs> Okay, so we're over here now. We got our dough in the pan and we're gonna put it on medium low heat. So about like three or four on your uh, on your burner. And we're just gonna leave it there for a couple minutes until the dough starts bubbling. And then once it starts bubbling, 
we're gonna add our um, our pizza sauce and cheese and toppings. So while we're waiting, we should probably start cutting up those toppings, which I forgot about. <laughs> so we'll come back over here. Oh, it's cutting. <laughs> Okay, so our first pizza is gonna have some mozzarella cheese and pepperoni and I don't know, we have bell peppers and onions and Hannah clearly has never used a can opener before in her life. I got it! <laughs> never mind, put it down. Okay, so we're gonna do one pizza with every, uh, with the uh, Sauce, cheese, pepperoni, and spinach. So pepperoni and spinach. And then our second pizza will have bacon, pepperoni, peppers, and onion. And of course, sauce and cheese. cheese. So. Sweet. Okay, let's start with the one with fewer ingredients first because our dough is not ready yet, but <laughs> getting there. Got a couple thick slices of mozzarella. You know, I, I will, also like bread. I will take a snack for now. And then we're going to put a spinach on it and pepperoni. So yeah. And we can just get everything ready and then start cutting uh, our <laughs> No, I got this. I don't got this. You're really struggling today with opening things, yep. aren't you? Yeah. I struggle almost every day with opening <laughs> things. I swear I'm smart, people. Uh, so we got some bacon for our second meat pizza. And we'll start cooking that in our second pan. Okay, so we got the pizza almost ready and the bacon's cooking. So we're gonna put some pizza sauce on there and spread it around. And then we'll add our mozzarella cheese. Yum. And then we're gonna put a little bit of pepperoni and on there as well. Well, more circles we can calculate the area of. Delicious. Yum. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna move it to our um, baking sheet over here. Hello, Hannah. Hello. <laughs> and we're gonna get a nice uh, spatula and hope this uh, we don't lose all this. Maybe we should have put the spinach on after. No, no, you got it. You got it. You got it. Hey, no casualties. <laughs> okay, then we're going to put this in the oven, set to 450 for about, uh, 10 minutes-ish. Minutes oh yeah, about 10 minutes and then we'll check. Ooh, another little snack. Yes! There you go. Food Network, we're coming for ya. So 
Wind me up. <laughs> okay, so we got our onion and our bell pepper and cheese, bacon. Wow, this is gonna be good. Okay, I think we're ready to start the second pizza. Yeah, so we're gonna take our dough. You wanna do this one? <clears throat> sure. Take our dough down, put it. It's a little warm, so... I'm gonna pull it apart a little bit before yeah. putting it in there, so I don't want to burn my fingers. I was gonna say, let's try to make, make this one a lot thinner than the other <laughs> one. Oh, look at that. Alright, yeah, that looks a lot thinner than the first one. I think this would be better. Okay, let's take a look at this. Go ahead, open it up. Oh, yeah! That's a beautiful pizza. Ah. Yeah. Oh. oh, look at the cheese dripping off. Oh, delicious. Yum. Look at that. All right. Cool. How does the bottom look? Done. Pretty good. Nice. All right. Cool. So the bottom looks good. Um, if it. If the bottom's not done, you can put it back in the pan for a little bit longer, but... Or if you want it crispier, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheese to Nice. Onion. And then last, we have the crumbled bacon. Hannah's ready. <laughs> okay, so it's been about 12 minutes. We'll check on the pizza. Yum. Okay. That looks good. Go ahead and take that out. Delicious. Look at that, two yummy, yummy pizzas. Sweet, all right, let's, uh, well, the one that just came out should cool for a bit. We can go ahead and slice up this one. Another circle. Wow, <laughs> full circle. We love circles. All right, taste test. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Just like delivery. Mm, that's interesting. Mm. Tastes homemade, because it is. The cheese is really good, definitely. The dough, I'm not so sure about. I definitely think it's good. Um, this crust was really thick. I think that the other one will probably be a lot better, but that's still good. I still think this is really good. It is the good. The dough tastes good. It's just, I think it's just a little too thick. Yeah. But, that's our first time. We learned. <laughs> exactly. Trial and error. Okay, so this one had mozzarella, bell peppers, Onions, onion, bacon, bacon and pepperoni. pepperoni. Okay, I'm ready for this one. Same. It's cool now. Mmm. I think you're right about the dough. Okay. That tastes like pizza. Oh, that's delicious. And the bell pepper and... Oh, yeah, that was a good idea. Mmm. Spread your dough out thinner. I think you can also just like... Mm -hmm. Nice, nah, look at that <laughs> cheese pull, yeah! You get a bell pepper on it. <laughs> I'm ready for some wine, how about you? Oh yes. I'm always ready for wine. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. No comment on that. All right, continuing Italian night on Dining with Drew, we're gonna do some amateur wine tasting. Yes. So let's go over the wines we have today. We have- uh, uh, Well, we have leftover Josh. Leftover Josh. Already, it's a Pinot Grigio. Already tried that one. And yeah. Well, I think we might've liked it. I think we really liked it. Yep. 
Okay. Come okay. Well, that one's okay. on the list. Well, we'll forget that one. Yep. Okay. Wine number one is a Saint Julian pineapple rosé. And why did we buy this one? Because it's a pineapple rosé. Pineapple. Pineapple. <laughs> why not? Okay. So that would be wine number one. Glass number one. And we like twist off caps. Yes. So fancy. Okay. Oh. Fudge. <laughs> And let's just remind everyone that none of these cost more than six dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and only two of them are in bottles. <laughs> okay, we're both grad students here, all right? We're on a budget. Broke college grad student. Okay, one number one. Should we yes. try it first? Yes. Okay, we'll just do initial. We gotta like swirl. do the little swirl, swirly and then mm. smell it. So this okay. is a rosé? Yeah. I smell the pineapple smell for the sure. Pineapple. It smells like... Picking up notes of tropical. Oh yes, hints of yes. tropical. I just feel like I'm on a beach. Yeah. All right, try it. Okay, I like. I think I like it, but then I'm like, hmm, because it like it tastes like a cocktail, but then it, it's yeah. like, no, it's definitely not. It's still wine. I don't know. It smells like a cocktail. It's like, oh, this is yeah. going to be a cocktail. And then it's like, you drink it. And it's like, no, this is definitely still one. I feel like this would be great if I was literally sitting on a beach, mm. not a frozen lake. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I give it out of 10. I give it a six. I'll give it a six with the potential to be bumped up, yes. giving context Absolutely. of where I'm drinking mm. it. Let's see. Okay. St. Julian Pineapple Rosé, my number one. Okay. Um... Also, let me, I should have just prefaced this with, I don't like wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I did like that one. Like, I could, I liked it. Okay. Yeah. I two. do like wine. So, <laughs> but I am a total amateur when it comes to wine, and I just look for the cheapest thing. <clears throat> oh, yes. Okay, number two. Is Fit Fine Fit Pinot Vine. Grigio. And why did we buy this one, Hannah? Because we are athletes. <laughs> 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 ah! I, I like the model. I like yes. the, the cover of the model. It's got a runner on it. I'm a crazy runner, so you know, this might be great after I finish my marathons and stuff, mm. so we'll see. Yes, this could be you running with grapes in one hand and yeah. like wine glass in the other hand. Maybe that's how I'll run my next marathon, you know? You mm. put me on the bottle. You yep. poured that one a lot better. Okay. You know. <laughs> you know, I kind of want more of the pineapple one. That's like, I want more. That was good. All right. <laughs> well, we it. still have four other things to get through first. Okay, okay. So, can you give it a little swirl? Can it sniff? It smells like Pinot Grigio. Like, what makes this a fit wine in the first place? I don't think I'm going to like this one. Okay, it has low residual sugar. Low that's sugar? Because that's what I'm worrying about when I'm drinking wine, is the sugar content. Yeah, oh, you know, funny. whatever works. Works for some people. I don't know. I know I'm not going to like this. It's definitely light, but that's typical for a Pinot Grigio. I like it. I don't hate it. I like it. It doesn't taste as alcohol-y as some other wines I've had, so that's good. It's all right. Still 13% alcohol by volume, so mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're getting with the trade-off with the sugar and the alcohol. <laughs> like, whatever, it works. I drink it again. Okay, out of ten. Um. I'd give it probably an eight. Yeah. But I love Pinots, so. Mm. Okay. I'd give it a five. Okay. But, again, I didn't hate it. So, I don't know. I feel, oh, oh, we'll redo my, my ratings at the end. You okay. know what? Maybe, maybe I'd say that this is a seven with the potential to bump up to an eight mm. because maybe it just tastes better after you're done working out. Maybe mm. I should do that tomorrow when I'm done running. Because I should go for a run tomorrow. <laughs> Give an updated review. All right. Number two. 
Fitline Pinot Grigio. Okay, now sticking with the Pinot Grigios, we have a mini Boda Box wine. I love these ones. My family buys them for all our functions. So this is just the miniature version of it because some of us don't need a whole box of you wine. Say function? Family functions. Like a frat party? <laughs> Yes, we're throwing frat parties that's at what my it's, aunt's that's house. What, that's what function means to me. I said family function. No. Getting together at my aunt and uncle's house then for clarification. Function. We like to drink like, oh, wine, man, but we're not like frat I hope I'm on the list this year. Come to Buffalo and then maybe you will be. <laughs> All right, now we're getting the territory of Hannah Pours with this. I don't this. think I've ever had wine in a... Um, in a box? In a box. Don't knock it till you try it. I think Boda Box does a great job. Everyone I've had from them has been delicious. Oh, so this is wasn't the last one a Pinot? Uh, this and one's the, a Pinot Noir. Over, yes, over two, so I Pinot guess. Grigio, Pinot Grigio. I think this one's a Moscato. All right. It smells kind of weird. It does. <laughs> It really does. <laughs> it tastes fine. I think I like this one better than the Fit Vine one. I agree. Yeah, I think I like it better. Hmm. Huh. I like it. It's all right. This is like, would be a go-to thing for me. Yeah. Like when I'm at the store. That's good. I can drink it. And the nice thing about Boda Box is you can like keep it in the fridge mm. for quite a while and it doesn't go bad yeah. like the bottle sometimes does. So. No corking, no nope. vacuum pump. Nope. None of that. All right. Next we have a barefoot wine to go. So it's in a carton again. This wine one's a Moscato. So if you funny. can't tell, I like whites and rosés. I don't drink reds much anymore. I don't like those headaches. So, but we do have a red to finish things up because what wine tasting is complete without all the types. Oh, yes. It's really clear. Maybe it's just the light. Oh no, okay, so it works. Yep, definitely smells like sugar. <laughs> I've had this, I think I've had this one before. Yep, tastes like your standard That's Moscato. Sort of yep, definitely sweet. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, you like sugar. It's so sweet, oh man. Okay. My little trick for sweet wines, because I'm not crazy about them, is I will actually like cut the glass with sparkling water, like a flavored sparkling water, like a passion fruit water or something. Mm. And it helps like cut back at the sweetness of the wine, but still gives a nice extra dimension to it. So a little trick, you can throw some frozen fruit in there or fresh fruit if you want. Frozen fruit just helps keep it cold without watering it down. So little trick. This is very good. Yeah. Very sweet. Yep. Very, very sweet. Another getting trashed on the beach wine for me. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, we have a black box Pinot Noir. Oh, I don't know why I'm shaking it. What the hell? Okay. I don't know why I'm shaking this wine. Probably a habit. Oh god. I've only had a couple sips. It shouldn't be trash. This one we can look at the legs on. Oh yes. There you go. Oh, some red wine. I don't know. My family mostly likes drinking red wine and I just don't anymore. You gotta really really get the uh, yeah. air in there first. Okay. Look at the oh, legs. Look at the legs. <laughs> I know nothing about what I'm looking for. I took a wine class one time, but I think I was more concerned with drinking the wine than actually learning 
how to taste properly. <laughs> that wasn't surprising. <laughs> what can I say? Okay. Smell? Oof. That's robust. I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna like this either. You know what? I take that back. It's actually like decent. Like I would drink this with a nice steak dinner, probably. <clears throat> it's not that bad. I take it back. I may have found the red that like I can tolerate. Yeah, I don't like that. It's just like thick, heavy. Yeah. But huh. I don't know. I just don't like it. It doesn't mean it's bad. I just don't like it. I don't think we've done our number scores on the last like oh, three. They were all bad. Well, no. <laughs> Do you like the Moscato? I like the pineapple one. I like the Moscato. The rest were... <laughs> <laughs> I drink them all again. <laughs> but I don't know. I like wine. I like uh... drinking wine. So take what I say with a grain of salt. It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> hey, an Italian night. Woohoo, that was fun. Um, it was a lot of fun. Alright, any you want to try again, or which which one was your favorite? Favorite? Probably the Boda Box Pinot Grigio, mm. but I was kind of expecting that. I mean, they're all different, they're kind of yeah. hard to like, yeah. I like the pineapple one just because it, it was like new, but that's a rosé and it was... Yeah. You know what, this would probably also be good if you cut it with the sparkling water and then maybe put like yeah. some, like you know how you can buy those frozen something. tropical mixes, maybe throw that in there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, make wine slushies. Wine slushies. Wine slushies. Ooh. Ooh. Um, delicious. But yeah, I don't know. I'll give this one another try after I'm done working out. But then again, I think anything tastes great after I'm done working out because I feel like I'm dying. That's true. So, what if I just brought this to the pool the one day? <laughs> it's funny. You can't have alcohol on Purdue's campus. Yeah, so that's I'm... the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in my water bottle. Nobody will know. That's true. I'll just say it's noon. You didn't hear it here. <laughs> I said nothing. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dining with Drew Italian Night. And Pi Day! And Pi Day! Woo! Well, it's Pi Day today. By the time you see this, it definitely will not be Pi Day. That's but... okay. That's besides the point. All right. Well, thank you so much, Hannah. Thanks. And thank you all Thanks of you. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>